Welcome Honorable Dan Burton with a round of applause. This declaration raises awareness of the growing threats to human rights, particularly the rights to freedom of religion, conscience, and thought. And it asks all people to stand together to overcome threats to these basic freedoms. The declaration builds on the foundation of the Peace Charter, which was affirmed during the Universal Peace Federation's World Summit 2022 convened in February, and subsequently during the Summit 2022 and Leadership Conference convened in August, and which advocated for a world culture of peace, a world of interdependence, mutual prosperity, universal values. In addition, during the first Conference of Hope held on November 12, 2022, a declaration and a call for freedom, justice, and fairness was affirmed and serves as a foundation for the following declaration. Would you all please rise? Thank you. We resolve to encourage all peoples, all multilateral organizations, and all governments to uplift and protect the right to freedoms of conscience, thought, and religion for each and every individual. We resolve to educate citizens to practice tolerance and mutual respect toward those who may be of different religious, cultural, ethnic, or national backgrounds. We resolve to call upon governments to affirm and protect the right of each individual to follow their conscience in matters of faith and belief. We resolve to reject the persecution of religious believers including members of minority traditions or new religious movements. We resolve to avoid the use of language or terminology by governments, the media, and the general public that demeans, mocks, ridicules, disrespects, or slanders the worldviews, values, ideals, or beliefs of other citizens. We resolve to educate youth in our homes, our classrooms, and our places of worship to be respectful of all people. And we resolve to appeal to governments to live up to their constitutions and their laws in protecting citizens from slander, discrimination, and violence. In closing, and with utmost sincerity, we call upon all people throughout the world to affirm this declaration and to uphold the universal right to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion. And to stand firmly against all forms of intolerance, prejudice, slander, and hate toward others. En outre, nous appelons tous les peuples à affirmer cette déclaration et à honorer les traditions de longue date d'équité et de respect mutuel. And to put an end immediately the unjustified persecution of the members of Family Federation in Japan. A persecution that has included 4,300 cases of forced confinement and kidnapping. Noting that such violation of human rights rooted in tragedies, religious intolerance, and allegations unilateral and extremist should not be lugar in the great nation of Japan. Furthermore, we call for an end to persecution and oppression through means such as unfairly initiating the right of inquiry for the dissolution of the religious entity and ignoring the freedom of religion mentioned in the Constitution of Japan. The current steps by the Japanese government amount to religious persecution and are in direct violation of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the principle of non-interference by government into religious matters. We also call for an end to religious persecution by the media that has resulted in more than 20,000 negative articles following the death of Prime Minister Shinzo Abe.
We affirm this, this day of December 17th, 2022, by 512 parliamentarians from 193 nations, representing over 5,000 parliamentarians who are part of the International Association of the Parliamentarians for Peace. This uh, brings us to adaptation of the declaration. This declaration was called both for those exposed to unjustified persecution and human rights violations and furthermore support those committed to the recovery of basic rights. We ask for your continued support. Please take your seats. Thank you very much. Where there is oppression